What's going on guys? Jeff here, Mad Hatter's Reef, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 low-priced saltwater fish. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day and if you're new to what we're doing here this is where I talk about everything saltwater tank related so if you love saltwater tanks like I do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video now today we're gonna take a look at the top 10 low price saltwater fish so let's jump into it coming in at number 10 on our low priced saltwater fish list is the pajama cardinal fish now this fish is considered easy to care for it's peaceful peaceful to the point where you don't want to put it with fish that are going to bully it it is a carnivore considered reef safe and can grow upwards of three and a half inches now when these guys are little they're kind of cute but when they get bigger they're ugly uh, the minimum tank size for this guy is 20 gallons so it is a fish that you can put in those smaller tanks I would consider a 20 gallon a nano tank and is definitely a interesting addition to a saltwater tank. Not only is this a great fish for a beginner, it's also a fish that isn't going to break the bank coming in under 20 bucks. Coming in at number nine on our low price saltwater fish list is the clown goby, more specifically the green clown goby. Now this guy is considered easy to care for peaceful even though that if he is put in a tank with multiple of the same species he might get a little uh, territorial has a carnivore diet is considered reef safe can grow upwards of two inches and requires a tank size of 10 gallons or bigger it's a very sight orientated fish that can definitely go into those smaller aquariums and packs a very light punch on the wallet Coming in at $9, most of the time you can find it for about $10. Sometimes they creep up into the $15 range, but definitely an interesting fish that has a really unique personality that isn't going to break the bank. Coming in at number 8 on our top 10 list is the Bicolored Blenny. Now this guy is considered easy to care for, has a peaceful temperament, even though that if people get too close, or fish, not people, uh, get too close to his little hidey hidey hole he will defend his area as needed has a omnivore diet these guys are known for cleaning the glass and the rock work constantly is considered reef safe and can grow upwards of four inches now this guy requires a tank of 30 gallons or bigger and is one of my most favorite fish i don't think i will ever have a saltwater tank without at least one type of blenny in it Bicolor Blenny is definitely a interesting addition to a tank, and they actually have some really good coloration to them as well. And coming in under 20 bucks can make a great addition to any reef tank. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 low cost saltwater fish is the Starry Blenny. Now, this guy is considered easy to care for, has a peaceful temperament, is considered reef safe, has that omnivore diet, and can grow to a large size, almost six inches in length. The Starry Blenny is going to require a tank size of 30 gallons or more, and in my opinion, is one of the most interesting and beautiful of the Blennies out there. This actually is a fish that is on my wish list that is going to be added to the water box, and I am going to be putting an order together in the next week or so, and I'm going to be documenting that for you guys. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified so you can stay up to date on any updates that I have going on with my tanks. Now, bringing it back to the Starry Blenny, this guy has a decent price tag coming in, in most cases under $20, and has a very interesting personality like most Blennies. And I think that everybody that has a reef tank should have some type of Blenny, so why not be the Starry Blenny? Coming in at number six on our top ten low-cost saltwater fish is the Cardinal Fish. Now, this guy is considered easy to care for, has a semi-aggressive temperament, and Usually that is directed towards uh, fish of its own species. Has a carnivore diet, is considered reef safe, and can grow upwards of 3 inches. Requires a tank size of 30 gallons or bigger. And these guys, when they're small, relatively cute, interesting fish. 
Now, the cardinal fish is a fish that is known for breeding rather aggressively and often in a aquarium setting. So that makes it a really good candidate for aquaculture. And any time that we can aquaculture a fish, most of that time it's going to help reduce the cost overall for the hobbyists as well as the folks that are breeding them. And these guys are known to be heavy breeders. They have been called the guppy of the saltwater aquarium hobby. In most cases, you should be able to find this fish from anywhere as to $15 to $20. Uh, that, in my opinion, is a pretty fair price for this fish. And anything above that, it's probably a little too much. Ultimately, great fish, great addition to any reef tank. If you're looking to add some interesting behaviored fish to your tank, check out the cardinal fish. Coming in at number five on our top 10 low cost saltwater fish is the yellow watchman goby now this guy is considered easy to care for has a peaceful temperament even though that he is considered peaceful will defend his territory to fish that are bothering him or getting a little too close considered a carnivore is reef safe can grow upwards of four inches and requires a tank of 30 gallons or bigger now as far as price point that goes with the watchman typically you're going to find them for around the mid 20 dollar mark uh, 25 dollars is perfectly okay to pay for this fish but every once in a while you'll find a sale that brings that fish down in cost and in my opinion they're a great addition to any reef tank they're awesome they got a very vivid bright yellow coloration and with blue dots they're almost like the poor man's blue spotted jawfish great fish great addition to any reef tank check them out the yellow watchman goby coming in at number four on our top 10 low cost saltwater fish is the fire fish now these guys are considered very easy to care for they're also peaceful now they're so peaceful to the point where if you have any bullies in the tank whatsoever they're just going to go hide and die this fish is also a known jumper, so it's a fish that you want to make sure that you have a lid on your tank. But back to the care basics on this fish. Considered carnivore, reef safe, can grow upwards of 3 inches, and requires a tank size of 20 gallons or more. This is a fish that is a great candidate for a species-specific tank setup, uh, just so that they don't get any hassle. I think that it would actually be pretty stunning to have a bunch of these in a tank, maybe you know close to 10 of them in a tank, just kind of schooling and flying around. It, it would be really stunning, in my opinion. When they're comfortable and happy, that little sail fin that they got going on actually will twitch quite a bit. Um, and when they're not feeling so great, that... Uh, fin will actually lay close to its back so they actually will tell you if something is wrong or something's bothering them and that really makes them a great candidate for a beginner and not to mention they come with a pretty low price point coming in at typically around $15 mark coming in at number three on our saltwater fish list that is easy on the wallet is the oscillaris clownfish now these guys are considered easy to care for have a peaceful temperament for the most part uh, to have a omnivore diet are considered reef safe and can grow upwards of three inches. Great thing about this fish is they can go in those smaller tanks. A 20 gallon or bigger requirement is ideal for this fish. Now, as far as the price point goes, typically these fish go for about 20 bucks, but you can find them from time to time even less. And this is a fish that has been aquacultured and aquacultured and aquacultured. So it has really driven down the costs associated with this fish. And they really are a great addition to any reef tank. Coming in at number two on our top 10 budget-friendly saltwater fish is the blue-green chromis. Now, the blue-green chromis is considered easy to care for, even though I struggle with this fish. I have never been able to successfully put a school together. They are considered peaceful, can be aggressive towards themselves, uh, have an omnivore diet, are considered reef safe, and can grow upwards of four inches. The minimum tank size requirement for these fish is 30 gallons, so you can definitely get them in those 30 gallons and even bigger tanks. And this is a fish that I've always, always have wanted and have not had a tremendous amount of success with them. That being said, are considered very, very budget friendly. Most of the time you can pick these fish up from anywhere from 5 to $10.00. And I've always wanted a school of them, but I haven't been able to successfully get these fish through quarantine. I don't know if they're just very sensitive to quarantining, but 
grand scheme of things, a very, very budget friendly fish that is not a complete jerk. And speaking of complete jerks, coming in at number one, our most budget friendly fish on the list, the yellow tail damselfish. The yellow tail damselfish is considered easy to care for, is semi aggressive, I'd probably just say aggressive. As a omnivore diet is considered reef safe and can grow upwards of three inches, requires a tank size of 30 gallons or bigger, and this fish comes with a severe word of caution. Now, even though that this fish is on the number one spot for being a low priced fish, that is the exact reason why I want to spend a little bit more time talking about it. This fish is a complete jerk, and if you add him first to the tank, he's going to run your tank and beat up whatever else you put in the tank. They are not good tank mates. Now, if you're going to have a system and just have one of these fish in it, that's great. That's probably the best that you could do with this type of fish. But if you're going to add this guy first and then continue to add fish to your tank, you're asking for trouble. This is not a good tank mate. They are low priced. They are pretty, but they don't play well with others. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video i want to thank you for joining me if you're new to the channel again don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that i upload a new video thank you for joining me if you enjoyed this one make sure you hit the thumbs up i'll see you next week right here with a brand new video